Hurricane Ian slowly crept over portions of Hardy County, dumping rain for hours and pushing the Peace River there to record levels in some areas. Eight on your side, Stacy De Silva's in Wachula, where our neighborhoods there are underwater. This is water from the Peace River in Wachula. One man we spoke with said he hasn't seen it like this in 59 years. He's finding it difficult to sleep at night. We were there when he saw the true devastation at his flooded house for the first time. All of these areas. Clyde Ratliff had four words to describe the past two days. Basically, uh, hell on earth. He's lived in Wachula for 59 years. He's never seen water like this. He can't escape it even when he closes his eyes. You need to go to sleep. You can't go to sleep. You know, it's been like two days. I've probably slept an hour and a half. I'm, I'm, you know. It's traumatizing. Very much you so. You know? Ratliff lives near Peace River Park. He and his girlfriend, Angie, fled the rising Peace River waters Thursday. Here, there's the guy that brought us out yesterday. Good guy right there. Friday, they went back to the house to assess the damage. I don't think people can truly understand what water can do. They at least have belongings to recover, unlike this family. It sucks we lost everything, really. At the height of Hurricane Ian's slow crawl over Wachula, Glenn Ellis was sheltered in the bathroom with his family at Valencia Gardens Apartments. And I said, hey, do you smell that? And I smelled smoke, got up, didn't smell anything, bent over, smelled it again. I was like, man, something, you know, something's on fire. Opened the door, and the whole apartment was just an orange glow. Ellis thinks a downed power line caused the whole building to burn down. Amazingly, no reports of anybody hurt from fire to floodwaters. Hurricane Ian threw the elements straight at Wachula, but they will bounce back together. The neighbors are out here helping neighbors, providing boat rides so people can see their flooded homes. We have resources here from Pinellas County and other areas. So much work left here to do. Reporting in Wachula, I'm Stacey DeSilva, 8 on your side.